How you doing? Ah, I've been out working in the yard. Boy, 100 degree weather. Really cook you. I'm watching this thing. Initially it's called uh, Kaylin and My Secrets. And I'm going over it. And of course it's predominantly with the women. Uh, they they get it. And you know it's a tear jerker and boo the fuck who. But I'm gonna have to put my two cents in on this horse shit. And this is why. I go off and I'm reading this and watching the video and all that. And there was a segment. It was bullies kill, words scar, rumors destroy. To, su to summarize this whole thing, the girl talks about her problems. She was, you know, abused, sexually molested, uh, developed uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome, and then um, and had a case of stuttering. So everybody was fucking with her, right? All right, understandable. You know, she had issues. You know, instead of, but she never said anything about seeing counselors or talking to people to help her, you know? Just boo-hoo me. And then she has a best friend who apparently was bullied as well and he took his life and now she's all vindicated to go off and help out all those who are bullied around and all this horseshit. And of course now she wants you to join her campaign to join up her friend's memorial site about, you know, bullies. You don't know his backstory. You don't know who this Joker is. You know her story. She got you her attention. Pretty girl. Doesn't say a word. Says flashcards. Who the fuck who? And then, by the way, my friend died, and I want you to join here to protect the world from bullies and and bad words and and rumors and shit. But there's two different stories. Two different elements. She showed you hers, introduced his without any backstory, and then says, please join. It's kind of fucked up. Because it's working on your emotional heartstrings, your emotional triggers. It worked on mine. It's called the bullshit meter. If she went off and said, I'm fighting bullies because I knocked the shit out of the one I did last time with a crowbar and knocked out his teeth and put him in the hospital and then he served jail time, I'd fucking join. But this ain't the case. This is a boo-hoo campaign. What's wrong with a boo-hoo campaign? And what's worse? We have people out there with anti-bullying legislation, in particular with schools and all that, I understand. But now if you look around and you look at your First Amendment rights, what's being violated? Me or them? And if you ever look at my commentaries, whether this is the first time you see this video or you saw the entire you know, uh, Reverend Ronald for You uh, site, I assure you, I am not soft-tongued or soft-spoken when it comes to dealing with stupid. So, what's the big deal about this chick, this girl? She went through shit in life. Her best friend commits suicide, and that's the problem. She introduces another story without his backstory. You get me? We all know that she's been beaten up and probably raped by her stepdad or cousins or whoever the fuck's out there. You know? And then all the kids growing up around her beat the shit out of her and treat her like, tr like, like trash. You know, like whatever social issues she had growing up. But a kid doesn't have those issues. And then when you look at it, you know, she's going off proclaiming that she's out to fight the fight for those who can't fight. Well, that's great too. But the introduction to me could have been a lot fucking better. It could have been, well, this guy was bullied or this guy was that. And instead of being insinuated, she didn't tell in depth his backstory or why or how long they've been friends or were they just friends or were they lovers whatever the case may be the thing is it had holes in it it had too many holes in it and of course I'm looking at this and I found this link that came from a few lady friends of mine on my friend list and of course you know oh what strength oh what whoa you know whatever the fuck and my attitude is why the hell do I want to join some fucking Mickey Mouse group out against anti-bullying? My attitude is simple. If you're not that thick skinned to deal with life issues, you're going to have to learn quick. 
as a kid or as an adult. I know I had to. Doesn't that make me a bully? No. I just had to learn how to sit back and analyze the situation. Sometimes people are so caught up and believe in other people's bullshit that they believe it themselves. Fuck them. Be a narcissist. Go off and look in the mirror and say, yeah, God damn it, I'm right for myself. And if someone says, you're an idiot, you're a fool, you're this and that, mind you, the band of retards are saying this to you, that's what they are. Now, if you have a particular quirk or disorder or whatever the case may be, well, that's something that you have and that's something you have no control over. That's the thing. If you can't play, you know, you can't sit there and play boo-hoo with yourself for too fucking long. You are what you are. And then if you're going to get verbally beaten up by a group of people, you know, that's because they have nothing more to, sh uh, to show for except pointing out the obvious. In other words, th what they state equates what they are in the shallow. That's how I see it. And the funny part is, when I see people out there with the anti-bullying campaigns or you can't say bad things, fuck you. You can't say bad things is like telling me I can't have any freedom at all to saying what I want to say. I might not for the bullies, but my attitude is you ought to learn how to confront your bullies. One way, shape, form, or another. In this technological day and age, kids have been videotaping what? Teachers fucking up, kids telling teachers to go fuck off. Why not take your bully doing bully shit? And then go off, put it in YouTube, and submit it to the principal the day after or that day. There you go. And if it's off property, you can even submit it to the police. How about that? Salt and battery recorded. You see, this is how I see things. I don't see the boo-hoo campaign because uh, your problems are mine. And the thing is, people go, oh, where's your compassion? Where's your empathy? Well, where's yours? People go off and sign these little things they like and they post and they go off and spread out, spam the fucking sites. Oh, look at this campaign. Isn't she a wonderful trooper? Bullshit. Educate people on how to deal with bullies. Educate. And not deal with the bullshit. Now, you don't have to be rough and tough. You don't have to get in a fist fight. You don't have to sit there and bring a gun to school. No. But if you're being bullied and you allow it to happen, it manifests. Meaning, if one or two people pick on you and you're crying and pissing on yourself, then 20 or 30 later on will do it because they want to see you cry and piss yourself. You get what I'm saying? So, my attitude is you can be a victim all your life or you can choose not to be victimized. You just gotta learn how to know what the formula is in your situation. And then, like I said, and if people are going off and bother you, can step out of their way to harass you, well, it's time to go off and document shit. But that's the problem. And these campaigns to control one another lacks the common sense to better yourself. And I think that's what rubs me so fucking wrong. Because if you can control your environment, when someone goes off and calls you a dirty, rotten cunt, well, if that's behavior not deemable for school children and you happen to have it caught on tape or you write an affidavit saying this is what I saw, and you go off and you talk about it with the principal. The funny part is that you may not be more popular over it, but when school threatens to expel somebody, usually it draws more attention to the parents of that student that you're reporting. You see, there are different methods and ways. And if mom and dad of that person concur with that kid picking on you, well, then he doesn't need to go to school with you, right? But these campaigns about censorship or controlling another person's actions by doing these, you know, stop these bad words, bad words are going to happen all your life. And you can cry and piss and moan yourself, you can cut your wrist and hang yourself in the fucking bathroom. The thing is, it's still going to happen. You just got to learn how to handle yourself and you got to learn how to handle your situation. And that's the funny thing. A lot of the people rather comp out and go off and do these little social groups and hand holding and, and bad this and bad that. The funny thing is if you look at cyberbullying, it's only designed for strictly students. 
dealing with other students to control the, the gentle psyche uh, of one another. Growing up in the 80s, we didn't have that bullshit. Why? Because you toughened the fuck up and there was no internet. We actually dealt the real world. In this day, in this day of technology, we're all living in a technological atmosphere. We're dealing with a virtual world. And the problem is some people, a lot of people, do not know how to differentiate from the virtual world to reality. So shut your fucking computer off, go off for a walk, and enjoy nature. Because after all, I, I think common sense left the goddamn building when you have people out there trying to stop this bullying. It's going to happen no matter what. There's always going to be an apex person physically, but there's always a person out there who's smarter than an apex mentally. It's always the smart that rule the strong. So if you can't be strong, be smart. But that's just my two cents. But well, what's worth? For what, it's, what I've seen? Links are in the bottom over the bullshit I just saw. Boo the fuck who? Who cares about the boyfriend? Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, it's her problem. It's her friend. Well, we all know about her fucking story. We don't know his. But that's okay. Her story motivated me to want to go and join? No. Motivated, motivated me to come up and call up bullshit. So there you have it. Take care. Bye for now.